Good afternoon, YouTube. Good afternoon. Okay, tip of the day right off the top. Keep a snack in the trunk of your car. Like, just always have snacks in your car. We get hungry as runners. We're always burning calories all the time. And so, I like to keep these kind granola bars in my uh, trunk of my car. It's just a nice little snack to uh, take the edge off right after a run, right before a run. Uh, anyway, little go. All right, folks, we got the thumbnail looking good. It's, a, it's an art, and I've, I've tweeted this out a couple days ago. It is more difficult now to take a good thumbnail versus filming an entire vlog for YouTube. I, it's just crazy, so I'm glad I got that done. And by the way, shout out to Jeff and everybody else who's asking about this coat. Stay tuned. It's it's It was 58 degrees in Denver today. It's a little cooler now, but it was warm. It's really not winter weather right now. So I don't, again, feel comfortable giving you my thoughts on this coat because it's too warm out. Like, it's just too nice to really put it through the paces for you guys. But stay tuned. Be patient. I'm hoping for a snowstorm in the next uh, 10 days, hopefully. Hopefully. All right. <laughs> Oh man, I'm fading fast guys, not doing so good. It's like a stomach bug that's just sweeping through the family. Oh man, but I like to, uh, I don't know, for me, like milk settles my stomach pretty well. I know some people drink Sprite or ginger ale, like that can help. Actually, that sounds pretty good too. Anyway, I'm gonna go in and get some milk, maybe some ginger ale, just to try and settle the stomach just a little bit. Oh, not good, folks. Got the goods, got the goods, ladies and gentlemen. Just trying to heed your advice, heed your advice. Drinking green tea, oh, keeping those fluids up. Okay, it's always a great day when a running book shows up at your front door, right? Uh -huh. Running the Lydiard way. I've read other books about Arthur Lydiard who we're gonna talk a lot about really soon as we all prepare for training in 2019. So I'm excited to dig into this, uh, yeah. Oh. Mm, mm. Today we're just going to focus on these three Nike shoes and the whole idea behind this video is to just help you runners discern where you should put your, your dollars, your hard earned dollars because I know like running shoes are expensive and there's a lot of options out there and a lot of options in the Nike lineup, okay? So today we've got the Pegasus 35, the Pegasus 35 Turbo and the Vomero 14. Now the other options out there, you've got the Odyssey React, the Zoom Fly, the Structure, there's a lot of Nike shoes. We're not gonna cover those today. We're just gonna focus on these three that you see right here, and let's dive in. By the way, I'm not going to go into all the specs behind each shoe. Instead, I'm gonna more, t you guys have watched me. If you've been watching this channel for a long time, you've watched me running these shoes a lot over the last month. And basically, I'm gonna talk to you more from experience rather than, let's say, all of the specs behind the shoe. Like, just how the shoes feel underfoot, the ground contact, how, it, how the lockdown system feels between the different shoes. So that's that's the approach I'm gonna take today. I wanna start here when talking about these three shoes, the Pegasus 35, the Pegasus 35 Turbo, and the Vomero 14. 
The Vimero 14 is nothing like the old Vimeros, okay? So if you like the old Vimeros, you may want to think twice about getting this shoe because they completely redesigned the upper, the midsole, and the outsole of this Vimero shoe. It now, and this is really important, if you are a fan of the Pegasus 35 and the Pegasus 35 Turbo, these three shoes now have a very, I think, have a very similar feel. And again, this is based on running in them over the past month. They have all, they all have a similar feel for that underfoot and ground contact. And so I think this beveled edge is really contributing to these three shoes having a similar feel um, through the midsole. As far as weight goes, the Vimero 14, definitely the heaviest and the lightest is the Turbo. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is that I'm not a huge fan of the Pegasus 35 upper. I think it's a little too, it's collapsing in on itself uh, too quickly. I just don't love the feel. I like a little more uh, structure to my upper. It just, it feels more like a cross training shoe. I'm, I'm gonna come back to that in a minute as far as through the upper. Um, it's just, yeah, it feels like it's collapsing in on my toes too much. Whereas these two, the Vimero 14 and the Pegasus 35, like per, no complaints about the uppers, um, just very, very comfortable. And I feel like they're structured and engineered a little better, which of course that leads in, and I got, I want to mention this to the, to the price point. You're going to pay a lot more for the Vimero 14 and the turbo compared to this guy. So as far as value goes, $80 right now, the Pegasus 35. That's what I'm seeing on different websites is about $80 for the, that's a pretty smoking deal, okay? Whereas the Turbo, you know, depending on where you're looking, but you can pay as much as $180 for the Turbo and then about $140 for the Vimero 14. So Turbo, most expensive, Vimero 14, right in the middle at 140 and then $80, so the cheapest is the Pegasus 35. After running in these shoes over the past month, this is what I'm gonna use the shoes for moving forward and you may not like what I'm gonna use the Pegasus 35 for moving forward I'm gonna use this shoe for cross training and lifting in the gym I'm probably not gonna use it for running now it's a good shoe for running but I think this shoe falls into more of the easy recovery day category which if I had to make a decision for where to put my dollars moving forward I would lean toward a New Balance Beacon over the Pegasus 35, all right? That's what I'm gonna use this Pegasus 35 for moving forward. For the Vimero 14, what am I gonna use this shoe for? Eight to 15 mile runs. I'm not gonna use this shoe for my long runs, okay? It's a little, little too heavy for long runs. But for that, just that daily trainer, this shoe is gonna crush it. And guys, I'm telling you, well, I'm gonna come back to this in a second. What? Oh. Pretty excited about the shoe. Okay, and then the Turbo in 2019, moving forward as I prepare for a marathon, this Turbo is gonna be my long run shoe. It's gonna be my long run shoe. I've just decided like uh, for the 20 mile long runs, 22 mile long runs, this is the guy. I just, the weight is amazing and it just has that perfect ride for those long runs in my opinion. Now I, I may also use it for a tempo day because it is so lightweight but most likely I will focus this shoe for the long run. All right, the moment you've been waiting for, if I could only purchase one of these shoes moving forward, which would it be? Which would it be? Keep in mind, I'm factoring in the, the, the overall ride, the durability, the price point, the weight, um, yeah, just like the overall feel of the upper, all of, the, all of these different factors. The Vimero 14. Yes, it beats out the Pegasus 35 and the Turbo. And I love the Turbo. But guys, I'm telling you, now coming out of the box, I was pretty concerned about the volume of the Vimero 14. It's just got a lot of shoe behind it. And I'm not a huge guy. And so I was like, oh gosh, this is going to be way too much shoe for me. But it's it feels very secure when you're running, meaning the landing area on the outsole is is I would say pretty wide compared to these the Pegasus 35 and the Turbo. So I I never feel unstable when running in the shoe. Um, one little drawback though I, I do just have to mention is the tongue of the shoe is just a little short. It's like if if Nike if you could just make this Vimero 14 tongue maybe like a quarter inch or a half an inch taller because 
you can't really pull on it to get that secure like snug fit that you want through the upper anyway that's something i've noticed like it's a very strange height to the tongue and maybe they were doing it to try and save a little weight but it's like the shoe's heavy already so might as well just uh, add a little more weight and so anyway that's my only critique really of almost the entire shoe is the tongue could just be a little bit taller nike all right could we do that nike could we do that nike and the keyword yes is heavy because yes the vomero 14 it's a little heavy and that's okay listen Will I wear it for 20 mile long runs? No, I won't, you know, I'll go to the turbo. But I'm telling you guys, like, it's not bad. Like, the weight is okay. So that's the key word and the question of the day. What will be the next Nike shoe that you will purchase? And listen, I know there are a few people out there that are not, fan, not fans of Nike at all. And I get it. They're kind of, you know, they're the big brother. They're the, you know, the biggest shoe company in the world. And though I get it, like some people are Nike fans, some people are not. But if you are a Nike fan, what will be the next Nike shoe that you purchase? Uh, and let me know why. Like, what's what's your strategy for the Nike lineup? Because there's so many options out there. In conclusion, I am bullish on this Vomero 14. I really am. I would definitely go with this guy over the Pegasus 35. I think the build quality is better. Uh, I, durability is definitely going to be better. Like it's it's got a lot of night. I think you could get four to five hundred miles out of that Vomero 14. No joke. I don't know yet because I haven't put those miles in, but stay tuned for that. Um, and then of course the Turbo, like it's in another class of its own with respect to weight and price. So it's a, a great shoe, but it's $180. And Oh man, I just don't know. I think if you're looking for that, just that daily trainer, I would lean in the direction of the Vomero 14. That's why it's up here on top. All right, all right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing with me on this fine day, even though I'm a little sick and uh, we're, we're gonna get through this together, right? We're gonna get through this together. Woo, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Mm, come on now. Oh yeah, drop that comment. What Nike, what Nike gonna get next? Mm, see you tomorrow.